see this thing now in Hollywood where folks are latching on to people and they are not letting go. All right. Now, disproportionately, it's affecting black men because with the white folks, we only had Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein set it off, I suggest. He set it off on the left and then set it off on the right. Then they latched on to R. Kelly. I really don't give a fuck about them latching on to R. Kelly because when you got little girls who too young to even have hair on their coochie peeing on you, you deserve to go to hell. Then they latched on to Jonathan Majors and he got out of one court case with Megan Good, silly looking ass, and now he got more damn people coming forward. They latched on to Bill Cosby. They latched on the Diddy. Now, when they latched on that, now let me tell y'all something. We must admit, outside of R. Kelly, Diddy was the latch of the century, baby, because Cassie ass latched on and did not let go. But you would have thought that the Cassie situation alone would have been enough to, uh, you know, handle everything with Diddy, baby. Now they got the men's coming out. Now they got the doggone men's coming out. And I'm going to tell y'all something about this last latch that we getting from Diddy. I, I read the case. I read the stuff um, prior to the show. And it's always a little weird to me when we start getting into sexual assault allegations, male to male, right? So we're already programmed with women. We live in a patriarchal society. Men are bigger than women. The woman is scared. The woman feels like in order to advance, she must acquiesce to the sexual advances. The man was a videographer for Diddy, and he was saying that his anus was groped multiple times. He also says that he was put in situations where he was forced to watch uh, sex tapes involving men in an effort for Diddy to coerce him into, like, wanting to participate. Um, Y'all, I'm not saying that it didn't happen, and I'm not saying that it can't happen. It's just very hard for me to believe um, that a heterosexual black man was in an environment um, and another man, and see, he didn't even say he grabbed his ass. The, 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 the findings say his anus. Do you know where your anus is located? Okay. This is your ass. This is your anus. Okay. This is your ass. This is your anus. The, this is your, this, your anus. He said that Diddy touched him on the inside part and didn't even call his name, okay? Do you know how far you got to dig your hand up somebody's ass in order to reach their anus, okay? It's very hard for me to believe that a heterosexual black man was anywhere and one that's of age. We're not talking about no young, impressionable teenager. We're talking about a grown man Multiple times, this man grabbed you in your anus. <laughs> and you just stayed and kept working. Okay? Okay. He grabbed you in your anus one time, and you were caught off guard. You left. Maybe you were caught off guard. You didn't know what to do. But then you kept coming back to work. You kept coming back. Kept letting the man... Not grab you in your ass, but in your anus, okay? And then after he was playing in between your legs and in your butt, then you sat down and let and was watching gay porn with the man and just kept coming around there and not let him touch you on your ass, but grab you in your anus, okay? I, I, I'm just... And, you know, fuck all of y'all that's going to say I'm victim shaming and I don't want to hear nothing about this is why men don't come out. Now, no, 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 
no, no. I've been gay for way too long, and I've been in too many environments where I've been made to feel uncomfortable as fuck by straight men who have a goddamn fit when they even think a gay boy looking at their damn ass. And you mean to tell me you let somebody grab you in your anus and you kept going around their house? And then he had you watching gay porn and was still grabbing you all in between your legs and in your butt and in your anus. And you kept going around that child cheese. You you need to go on somewhere with this one, friend. You, 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 you need to go on some around. I mean, quiet as it's kept, it's low-key giving me a Christian keys tea. It's giving me you liked it. It's giving me you liked it. It's giving me, and T the Diva said, Diddy is not a straight man. I'm not saying Diddy the straight man. I'm saying the videographer man. What? But then again, if you right here letting people fool a lot in your anus, let me tell y'all something. It had been no way in hell. Them people would have been able to get me to put in no court papers that somebody was playing around in my anus. My ass, maybe, but not in my anus. Anus. Do you know how far between your thighs and almost in your stomach your anus is? And it was that anus that stuck out to me in the court paper. He didn't say grope my ass. He said grope my anus. The anus is, listen, when I went to Florida State University and got my degree in economics, little people ain't teach me shit about anatomy. Okay, but seventh grade science class taught me that show anus is is you got to spread your ass and your thigh meat to get to somebody anus okay so it's just <laughs> child it quite i mean even the bill cosby women the r kelly women the hugh half the women ain't come out and say somebody was playing in they anus okay do you do 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 you? I mean, I, I mean, how deep is your love, Keith Sweat? As do you, I, 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 in your anus? I mean, quiet as it's kept. It's easier to play in somebody's folk than it is to play in their anus. Okay, and you don't go out there and put this on these court paper, child. You'd have just been better off calling Cassie, asking her, can you have $200,000 from her? Uh, or, or didn't get us to believe that somebody was playing all up in your anus. And then go implicate Stevie J. Stevie J don't um, caught, a, caught a straight bullet. And we come to find out that was not Stevie J in that porn. It's a porn star by the name of Knockout. And then... The man said one time when he was on a boat that Cuba Gooding Jr. was in, uh, riding there and witness to it and was all involved in the mix and everything with what was going on. It's just too much anus play going on around here for me. Um, it's way too much anus play going on for me. In your anus. I kissed a boy and I liked it, child. I I don't know what's going on. Here's what I will say. Um, I think the bigger, the more concerning part, though, outside of that is when the guy was saying that Diddy then would have parties and that they were spiking those people's daily on tequila and those drinks. Um, I wasn't there. I didn't watch nor participate, but I believe it. You know what I'm saying? Now that we're we're starting to get more insight into how weird Hollywood is and how uh, you know, all these people are talking about drugs, and even with with all the things that Cassie said Diddy did to her, it makes it very possible for me to believe that drinks are being spiked. Um my female friends, I am here to tell y'all something. When y'all get hand selected by these athletes and these entertainers to come over to their sections, to come hang out, to come back to their parties, to have fun, let me be very clear and frank with you, sweetie. It's not because he sees marriage potential in you. It's not because they want to be friends with you. 
It's not because the, the, the Jesus spoke to them and told them that you're the one. They want to fuck you, okay? Rich athletes and entertainers strike up and create platonic relationships with other rich athletes and entertainers. So with that being said, when you're in XYZ City and somebody's road manager comes over and says, XYZ Celebrity wants you and your homegirls to come back and hang with us. Baby, it's not because you're the cat's meow and God finna send you a husband. It's because they trying to fuck you and they want to have a good time with you. And you need to be smart enough to not accept anything to drink from any of them except for a bottle of water. But there's, there's this thing that y'all do, and it's women in particular. There's this thing that y'all do. Y'all want the fantasy of the huge wedding and the rich man and the lifestyle. Y'all want that so bad that you trick yourself into believing that this person wants you for you. And I'm not sitting here trying to devalue anyone. I'm simply telling the truth. When these athletes and entertainers go out for the weekend and they come across somebody, it's to fuck. They're inviting you back to fuck. They want to fuck you all between your legs and in your butt and in your anus, okay? And now they are moving closer to um, putting roofies in people's drinks and putting... And so, you know, it's weird because then you get these situations, these Chris Browns and these Trey Song situations where, you know, these girls are coming out and saying they're being sexually assaulted. And I'm not blaming the females whatsoever. But y'all already know when they invite y'all back to the house, to the room, to the hotel, what the play is. You already know. And by going back to the hotel, to the house, to the private party, you are softly signaling that you down with the get down. Then they start pushing up on you, groping up on you, and it turns into a sexual assault situation. And I'm not saying you deserve it. But what I am saying is that in 2024, there ain't a female alive over the age of 21 that don't understand. And when you go back with an athlete and entertainer, they call you and your homegirls with y'all bundles and y'all short dresses on that. They calling you the fuck. And if you think anything otherwise, you stupid. And that's that on that. Um, 